Welcome. In this video, I will demonstrate how one can obtain an alternative expression for the magnetic susceptibility of a system as opposed to the form given here, which is known as the Curie Weiss law, where chi subscript T denotes the magnetic susceptibility of the system, M is the average magnetization of the system, B is the external magnetic field, T is the temperature, theta is the Curie Weiss temperature, and C is the Curie constant. In particular, the new form we will obtain by the end of this video will involve the critical temperature instead of the Curie Weiss temperature. This will all be done with respect to the Ising model, for which I will provide some background in the description of this video, and we will be using implicit differentiation with the following assumptions and conditions. Firstly, we will take KBT to be much greater than KB multiplied by T subscript, T subscript C, which is what we will use to denote the critical temperature of the system. Recall from my previous video that this is the temperature which separates the boundary between the ferromagnetic and paramagnetic phases of the system. And by taking the temperature to be greater than this value, we are in the paramagnetic phase. We will also be taking the average magnetization of the system to be equal to zero. We will take the external magnetic field to be very small. And we will also take the Curie constant to be equal to one. From the mean field approximation, we can derive the transcendental equation which governs the average magnetization of the system. So we have M is equal to hyperbolic tan of beta times 2JN M plus B where beta is equal to one over the Boltzmann constant times temperature. J is the spin-spin interaction energy and N subscript dim is the number of dimensions of the system. So now I will substitute this expression for M into the curie weiss law. So we have the left hand side of the equation being the magnetic susceptibility being equal to the partial derivative with respect to B of this expression for the average magnetization. So we can first differentiate this with respect to B because we know that um, the hyperbolic tan becomes the following term. And then we must also differentiate the argument of this function which if I um, substitute in for beta, I will get the following. And remember that we're differentiating M here, but we also have an M in our expression. So this is where we use implicit differentiation. So we substitute that we're differentiating M with respect to B, plus one from this B term, all divided by the definition for beta, which is KBT.
Now we can use our definition for the hyperbolic cosine um, to substitute in here. So this is equivalent to one over hyperbolic cosine squared um, with the same argument as above. multiplied by this term again. So I will just denote that by this symbol here. Now we're going to go back to our assumptions above. So I'm going to take the limits as m tends to 0 and also as b tends to 0. As we take the limits as m goes to zero and b goes to zero, you might notice that, oh, I missed a bracket here. You might notice that this argument all goes to zero. And we know that the hyperbolic cosine of zero is 1. So we know this term goes to 1. So this fraction effectively cancels out. And then we can rearrange um, to get our expression for chi subscript t. So then rearranging And then here I'm also going to substitute um, the curie weiss law from the very top of this page, where I have chi subscript t is equal to this derivative, which I'm going to substitute in here. And I get a chi subscript t here, plus 1 over kbt from this term. Then again, as I said, just rearranging this. You can get to this expression. And to get from this line to this line is just trivial algebra. So I'll leave that as an exercise for the viewer. And for the final step of this derivation, we will use that from this transcendental equation one can derive that the critical temperature multiplied by the Boltzmann constant is actually equal to 2Jn and we can use this here in the final step to gain the following expression a simple factorization we gain this and this is the alternative form of the curie weiss law with the critical temperature instead of the curie weiss temperature